What's up? What's up? Hey everyone, welcome to Hack Shack Studios. RT Bear here. Uh yeah, yeah. Um it just dropped, it just dropped. Um uh Hollywood Reporter has done a uh a write-up on Rob's Snake Eyes, Rob Liefeld's Snake Eyes book, and he announced all the people that will be working with him. So we're gonna get into that. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes a few minutes to get in here and show me a sign of life because it's very important to me uh, to not move forward until I got that. <laughs> hey, first one in the house is Skip Edwards, Art. Hey, uh, Art, good morning. Hey, what's up, my friend? So, um, so yeah, uh, Rob has been, Rob Liefeld has been contacting people uh, for his new book, uh, Snake Eyes, and so uh, he picked all kinds of great, uh, great people, great choices, and uh, I was one of them. So I'm very, very honored and flattered that he thought that highly of our work together in the past and that was uh, thinking about uh, the future. So he's kind of doing a homage to, uh, to comics, to great uh, talent. And kind of, I think it's just like a dream for him to have all these different people working uh, with him and uh, reinterpreting his uh, pencils. So I, I'm a little nervous, actually, because uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think I'm going to get the page this weekend. I think he said Saturday, so that would be tomorrow. So I'm really not sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I think they're going to come blue line, so I'll blue line them up. So I might do a, a couple versions uh, just to play around and just to see what what happens. Uh, I find it best to to enter into these uh, these type of jobs without a lot of uh, forethought. Just kind of go in there and wing it, however you feel, and uh, and go with the flow. So I believe that's what I'm going to do. I do have a couple ideas just chambered that will probably come out in the process. But uh, I want to ink him differently than I have in the past. So I don't want to kind of rehash uh, what we've done before. So uh, that's kind of the plan. So let me, uh, we got people in the chat now. We got Brian uh, Rickard. Rickard. Hey, Art, what's up? We got Emmett. Uh, uh, hey, Art, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I hope you guys are all doing good as well. Billy Bat, what is it? Uh, Basco, um, how are you? Good morning, Art and Skip. Skip Edwards, the Skip Edwards, past master Dan Hale. What? Oh man, I thought it said something else. <laughs> Hell Saint Art. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Uh, dead drop. Dead drop. Hello, Art. Okay. So, uh, do, do, yo, Joe, uh, yeah, yo, Joe, grats on landing the snake eyes gig. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, do, 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 do. and Dino actually says something that sounds nice, nice art. <laughs> I'm not used to that. That takes me aback. Uh, usually it's some kind of crack about my age or my gray hair or something or something. Lord Crackhead, you know, it's it's not a party until you get some crack. Uh, so we it's a it's a party indeed. Now we got Lord Crackhead 33 in the chat. Hail art and chat. OK, here it comes. Uh, tell that bum life filled. He owes me a comic. <laughs> See? See, I knew it was there. I knew it was coming. Oh, Terror Wombat, what's up, man? Uh, what's all of this then? Oh, oh, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna get into it big time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, I got the the article chambered, so I'm gonna read the article and then uh, possibly a little bit of uh, past workings with Rob. A little stories here, stories there. You guys tell me you like the stories, and then uh, I I have a reveal of a. I mean, Rob Liefeld is very, very big in the comics industry, very, very famous, but I'm going to be inking somebody that's even bigger than Rob Liefeld. Huge, huge in the world, huge. Uh, everybody knows this man. Uh, ooh, I just spilled it. He's a man. Yo, Artie Bear, Artie Bear. 
do, 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 do. man, you guys are on fire in the chat here. Uh, do, do, do Peyton, Peyton's in the house. Oh my gosh, Peyton. I don't know if you guys look closer, you can see the moon right here in his, uh, in his little icon there. <laughs> the moon's coming out to say hi. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Um, I know my wife wants to eat, so we're probably not going to hang out too long. Uh, I'm actually a little hungry myself. All right, let's do this. Share, share, and share some more. All right, this is the, the Hollywood Reporter. Uh, Rob Liefeld Snake Eyes enlists guest artist for final. Sorry, I'm getting a little, little uh, water. So uh, issue five, number five, hit stores in April. Writer and artist Rob Liefeld is getting a little help from his friends for the final issue of G.I. Joe comic Snake Eyes, Dead Game. The series from IDW and Hasbro will con conclude with issue five in April and will feature flourishes from other comic book artists. So that's what I bring. I bring to uh, the the uh, the party the flourish. Call me Art Flourish T Bear. All right. The arrival of the GI Joe Real American Hero comic book uh, was a pinnacle of the Bronze Era of comic books. It took fans and retailers by storm, electrifying the industry. As an approach, uh, my last issue, I wanted to do something special and unique to create a signature Bronze Era comic, experiencing honoring the legend of G.I. Joe for our big finale, said Liefeld. I put the call out uh, to some of the biggest, the biggest and most accomplished names, specifically top inkers and embellishers, who shine bright during that age. Hmm. Hmm. Who could these fellows be? I asked them if they would each embellish one of my pages or ink a spread. And, uh, and I've been floored by both the response and the results of our collaboration. Dreams do come true. You're damn right. They do Rob. You're darn, you're darn tootin' there. So yeah, this is this is cool, man. This is stuff that uh, even I would like to do at some point. You know, just like these killer collaborations. So uh, that talent includes Neil Adams, the great Neil Adams, Jerry Ordway, Will Spertaccio, Carl Kiesel, Joe Rubenstein, Art T. Bear, uh, Philip Tan, uh, Dan Frega, and Ed Piscor. I don't know who that is. Uh, Jim Rugg, uh, Tom Scolari. Uh, Corey Hampshire, uh, Corey's really good, and Chance Wolf. I think Chance Wolf uh, got his chance in the day with um, with uh, uh, up, 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 Jim Valentino. He hooked Jim up. Jim's hard to ink, and uh, Chance did a really good job. I believe that's who that is, and I think it was uh, what was his name? Shadowhawk. Shadowhawk. Beyond the Bronze Era talent, I look to include the generation that grew up on G.I. Joe, like Ed, Philip, and Dan, our, our own Dan Frega, uh, Tom Scolari. Uh, seeing all these guys jam over my pencil art and storytelling is a fantastic experience. It's a highlight of my 34-year career and a great finish to our G.I. Joe Snake Eyes finale. Uh, very cool. This, let me see if I click on it, if you can see the whole, oh, this is a double page. That's why it's like this. Maybe I can blow it up. There it is. Um, yeah, this is, this is Neil Adams. That one shot in the top uh, left corner kind of looks like dead man. It's a little dead man ish, but this is definitely Neil Adams uh, coming in, hooking Rob up. Uh, pretty cool. You can still see Rob's work in there, but you can see Neil as well. So it's really cool. Um, Wow, Rob, that's really that's really cool. Uh, I'm sorry, but I do have to point out one thing. Uh, Snake Eyes crotch is not finished. There's like this big white space right there. I'm sorry, man. I go right to the crotch always. I'm a big crotch inker. So this is very cool. Look at that. Look at the hair um, on the last panel. Very cool, man. Looks like a brush, brush pin. Yeah, Neil's ink is crazy kinetic. 
Yeah, this is a double page. So I'm going to be inking a double page as well. Uh, Rob said he's going to, uh, he likes the way I do faces. So he said it's going to be uh, like a dialogue page, a lot of faces and stuff like that. And I believe I'll have the page, the uh, the two pages, uh, the originals. So that'd be cool. Uh, I'm really looking forward to see seeing what Wills does. Wills Potasio is going to be, um, I think he's going to be the guy that I that I'm looking forward to. Uh, Carl Kiesel would be interesting because uh, I think Rob started his career with Carl inking him, so that'll be that'll be interesting. I imagine Joe Rubenstein's uh, stuff will look a little little Neil Adams ish, and then uh, Philip's really cool too. And Philip's a really cool guy. Uh, I like him. Uh, Corey's got a nice line too. So I think this first piece right here is, I wonder if this is a panel or if this is a double page spread as well. This is Jerry Ordaway. And uh, once again, you can see Rob in the work, but you can, you can see Jerry's, uh, you know, line work on top. So it's, this is a nice uh, collaboration right here. And also if I'm not mistaken, Rob, before the image young blood, there was, there was a version of Youngblood that Rob Liefeld and Hank Canals did when they were kids. And I, you know, I knew Rob before he broke into the business. And I remember seeing this piece and I think it was a double page and it was an ad. And I believe Jerry Ordaway inked it. And I was floored then. I mean, Rob showed some serious, serious chops early on. And with Jerry over, over him, kind of like given that professional, like finished look, uh, it was fantastic. And I think it was just kind of a stagnant shot of all the young blood characters kind of in a lineup kind of shot. And I remember just digging it. Um, I wonder if, uh, well, I'm not going to try to find it, but, uh, but yeah, uh, Rob's been working on, uh, young blood for, for a long time. And I know he's had his eyes on certain people, uh, to collaborate with early on. Cause I think there's even maybe a George Perez piece that, um, Rob penciled and George inked. So I know, uh, Rob was a big George Perez fan as well. So that's pretty cool. So let me go back in the chat. We've got a bunch of people, got a bunch of new people. Um, but, 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 but checkpoint, what is up? What is this? Uh, Ruthven? <laughs> Car Carlis Carlis Carlissi Lisley. Um, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, I guess I have to check out a GI Joe book for the first time since I was a kid. Yeah, uh, Rob is like crazy enthusiastic on projects, and his his enthusiasm is infectious. Um, even if you're on the fence, he'll he'll talk you down. Um, which is good, which is really good. And his energy will kind of feed you. Um, Shadowhawk, back when the best heroes were powered by AIDS. That's right. The character had AIDS, right? Yeah, that's crazy. You talk about topical for the time. Uh, looks like he's going to have to put his pride aside and work with Dan Frege. I don't know what that means. I always thought Dan and uh, Rob got along. Perhaps not. Uh, Danger, Vanessa says, from Eric Weathers to Artie Bear. Uh, thank God it's Friday, CG. <laughs> it is Friday. Um, that's cool. I want to get these things done early because I know that uh, Nerd Roddick just dominates Friday. He just gets in there and just everybody watches his show uh, for good reason because it's killer. Uh, Kelsey Shannon, one of my favorite artists. Uh, uh, I saw... Uh, Pisker uh, do this, uh, which was fun. I didn't know Wills was doing one. How cool. Uh, you're going to kill it, dude. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, I am a little nervous about it. And also just I, I realized I haven't inked anybody else in at least a year or, or longer. So I've been I've been away from the mainstream inking for for a while. Like I said, at least a year. Uh, I did ink uh, Patrick Parnell uh, the other day which was a lot of fun. Um, he's the first one that I, I think I've inked in a year or so. So, um, 
so that's why I'm a little, little nervous. I still have the chops, you know, the inking with the nib and all that stuff. I've been working with the tools. It's just, uh, you know, working over somebody else's uh, pencils. Uh, can this be, hey, Art, hey, to the chat. Uh, Roboto, someone six, ask Rob Liefeld if he likes the MCU or not. Um, I, I, I know a lot of things about, how Rob feels about certain things, but I'm just not going to say him. It's not my place uh, to say anything. So um, he has a podcast. So I'm sure that you're going to get some insight on that. So if you haven't subscribed to Rob's podcast, I don't know how that works. I think it's subscriptions. Uh, go do so. Rob's always interesting to listen to. Razmaz, what's up? Tara Wombat, bat, let's see. Uh, you can see Rob's work, the arm looking too short. Yeah, but you know what? He, Neil Adams said, it's not what you do right, it's what you do wrong that defines your style. So uh, as long as there's energy, as long as uh, it's entertaining, that's really all I care about. Um, and Rob's stuff is always dynamic and it's always, uh, it's always bombastic. So you know, there's there's guys that that know anatomy and they're a little bit more technical things like that, but uh, ultimately I don't think it it matters. I think what what at the end of the day is if it's entertaining to you, because this is entertaining. So you could you could look at it and be critical, but uh, if you could pick up the book and you can be entertained, you can be uh, taken away or or brought into that that comic book world for. I don't know, 20 minutes, a half hour, however long it takes you to get through the book, then, then, you know, mission accomplished. And that's what I look at. And Rob can do that. He can engage an audience. And that's, that's, that's a big deal. Uh, I like Rob or I like Youngblood mainly because it's canon to spawn. Oh yeah, they are. They are kind of tied together there, aren't they? Uh, send Rob a link. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't think, certain things are going to happen. And th the thing is, I, as long as there's mutual respect, I think it's all, it's all cool. You know, keeping friendships, uh, even though, you know, I'm, I'm hanging out with the, the toxic CG crowd, it's okay. And I think that, that people like that are brave, you know, they're in, in, in our, in our current state, in the current world, they're brave. I just think it's just normal behavior. But uh, like I said, in this in this world we live in now, it's considered brave to hang out with uh, toxic people or somebody that's considered right wing, which, by the way, I would never say that I'm right wing. I'd say I'm more right leaning at this moment in time. But um, just to clarify, Art, build a bridge of friendship with Ed Piscor uh, and Jim uh, Rugg. Is it Rug or Rug? Uh, I'm going to look those guys up because I don't really know. I'm not familiar with their work. Um, Hell Kelsey, indeed. Uh, John Whalen, Arturo, Arturo. Yes. So um, I promised a story about working with Rob, and uh, I'm trying to think of one. Um, Always, always enthusiastic. I re I do remember. Okay, this is the story I'm going to tell. It's 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 a really fun story. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, I'm politically <laughs> wait wait. I have to read this. I'm politically homeless. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds funny. Uh, let's see what Kelsey says. I'm I'm not political at all. I just like uh, a holes. <laughs> I think. There's there's kind of like what was it in Die Hard? It's like I am an a hole, but I'm your kind of a hole, which sounds really odd. But I know what he was going for, and yeah, I'm I'm kind of the same way, you know. Um, as long as they're fun, you know. There's 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 different types of a holes. Uh, there are fun a holes. I, I think of myself as as a fun a hole, <laughs> or do I have a fun a hole? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta move these bottles. I, I was drinking on live streams last night, and so uh, they're all over the place here. Uh, so now I got 
clear space so I can I can I'm gonna I'm gonna take a sip of water before I tell my uh, my life old story keep you guys on the edge of your seat okay I think it was the extreme zero issue and so I think it was like eight pages or, or something like that and it was uh, it was either a was it I don't know what it was, but it, I think maybe it was a troll story. He, uh, Rob had a character uh, named Troll, and he was launching um, the character and had a lot of enthusiasm for it and 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 such. And so then he asked me to ink it. And I think it was eight pages, something like that. So uh, I inked it up, and uh, I had a ball doing it. And so I remember showing it to Rob, and it was right there for everybody to see, right? It was, it wasn't in like one of our offices or anything. It was kind of like in the main, in the main room. And so I showed her the pages. He's like, this is how Robbie goes, this is awesome. Like he just, he was yelling. He's like, this is awesome. And he was pointing at the pages. He goes, awesome. He goes, you knocked it out of the, the ballpark. And then he actually was so excited. He gave me a kiss. <laughs> it wasn't on the lips. It was here. So this is the special zone right here. Um, yeah, he gave me a cheek kiss. And uh, I, I I still think it's awesome, man. I mean, he was just like so taken by it. He was just like, this is awesome. And he was just so excited. And uh, he couldn't handle it. And so uh, he, he smooched me right on the cheek. <laughs> I got a Rob. I got a Rob smooch, which was awesome. Like I said, man, it, it's all good. Uh, I, I try not to uh, to think about this stuff too heavily, but it was good. Oh, man, we got Pedro. Pedro and I are going to be doing some great work together. How are you, Pedro? Uh, if it's not on the lips, it doesn't count. Uh, maybe in your book, but how many people can say they've been kissed by Rob Liefeld? I submit not very many. If any, actually, if any, uh, okay. Yes, I will look these guys up. So you guys are, uh, you guys really like these, uh, these peeps work. Hey, we got, uh, we got Philip of Zade Comics. What's up, my friend? And uh, Magic Cop Two is uh, is live right now. So go check it out. Back their uh, their book. They're great guys. Him and his brother Brandon, great guys. I think Philip is going to be on my show Monday, and we're going to get into the meat and potatoes, potatoes of uh, of Magic Cop Two. I'm also going to do a show, hopefully next week. Uh, I'm trying to be more topical with stuff, so as things come up, I'm trying to stay loose with it. But I do have a uh, a show planned and it's just going to be called in demand. So I'm going to put the spotlight on a, on a lot of in demand books and, uh, and whatnot. And cause there's a lot of great books right now that are in demand that you could back today and they'll ship out within days. Uh, one of those is Chrono mechanics. Hiya. Okay. Uh, I'm, clarification. It's Tuesday, Tuesday. So maybe I can do that in demand show Monday then. Uh, Checkpoint says a workplace sexual assault. That's how it would probably go down today. If you know, like uh, what was his name? Uh, John Lasseter was a hugger. I have a friend that's a hugger. They do exist. They're just very, very friendly people. And there are people that don't like to be touched. I understand that, but even if you don't like to be touched and somebody comes up and hugs you, don't take it as a personal affront, man. Just deal with it. Uh, it just means that that guy is friendly. That's all. That's all that means. It doesn't mean they want anything more. Sometimes a hug is just a hug. And checkpoint, sometimes a kiss on the cheek is just a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> it doesn't have to mean anything else. That was a quick story, but I think it was very effective, the whole kiss on the cheek. I've been kissed by dudes that can't draw feet. <laughs> be nice. Be nice. All right, Billy, uh, this is a long one. I'll see if I can get through it. Uh, yeah, it would be really great 
and super special if G.I. Joe actually helped men uh, mend some, uh, I think it's supposed to be mend some wounds between Ed and Dan Frega and Kelsey as well. Wow, I don't know anything about this, Billy, as well, since they stopped uh, talking to him. Uh, he was sad. I, I don't know anything about that. I, 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 I talked to, um, to uh, Frega last couple of days now. We've been talking on the phone. It's, it's been a blast hanging out with him. He told me all about, uh, I, I actually have secrets on, uh, on, uh, on Black Flag. I will not, I swore secrecy. That book, when the reveals happen in that book, you guys are going to be floored. Um, Dan's got some super fantastic stuff uh, planned for you guys with that. But I don't know anything about that. And as far as I know, I I, I believe Dan and, and Rob are on good terms. Um, I don't know why he would um, want to work with them if he wasn't. Uh, a face hugger. Um, yeah, that'd be a combination between John Lasseter and uh, Rob Liefeld. That would be a face hugger. Um, okay, Razmaz, uh, just make sure they don't take your wallet when they hug you. Uh, <laughs> well, see, then that would be that would be a real reason to get somebody in trouble. But just hugging somebody that doesn't that doesn't mean shit. It don't mean shit. Okay, well, I, I told you guys I have a big reveal, um, and I'm going to – what? Dan Frank is female now. No, no, he's not. He just had a big rock removed from his, uh, his body. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, uh, Joe uh, Suntag confirms. All right, here it is. Big reveal. Okay, this is perhaps the biggest person that I will ever – ever ink in my lifetime. How's that for a setup? The biggest name I will have ever put ink to paper over. Uh, super, super uh, killer pencils. Um, this guy is historic in nature. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a favor for our favorite person, Ethan Van Skyver. And I'm going to be digging into this uh, pretty damn soon. So uh, it is not it is not Jack Kirby. It is not. You know what? This might be fun. You guys start trying to guess. So uh, like I said, this guy, this guy transcends comics. This guy is huge within the whole scope of the entire world, the entire world. And uh Joe Matty, I, I inked Joe's first work over at Marvel. I did a bunch of uh, X-Men trading cards. Um, ba, 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 ba. Steve Ditko inks, inked Ditko, inked McFarlane. Um, ba, 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 ba. Art Adams inked uh, Todd McFarlane. Oh, oh, wait, I see one. Steranko, that would be interesting, but no. Uh, Norman Rockwell, that would be weird. Um, and fun. Oh my gosh, John Byrne would be freaking amazing. Drew Struzan, uh, no. Uh, Cecil, I, I've asked if uh, if Cecil would let me ink him. Leonardo da Vinci, oh my gosh, that would be killer. He actually kind of pencils. Uh, there's there are some kind of like uh, pencil strokes that look like they could be inked. Um, that could be fun. Sean Lennon, Mike Smiler. Uh, I, you know what? I have inked Mike. I, I inked Mike um, when he was still Comics Gate. I inked uh, like a doodle of his. He did some live stream doodle and uh, I inked it up. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, I got to get through these. Is it Walter Simonson? Um, no. Uh, how dare you? How dare you? Uh, Oh my gosh, Don Bluth. You guys are coming up with some great names. Uh, Richard Corbin. Oh my gosh, that'd be a dream come true. Do that stippling, like you do that stippling uh, look. Jazzy Johnny Ramita. I, I never inked uh, Ramita Sr., but I have inked Johnny J.R. J.R., the junior. The junior one. Okay. Dave Finch. Uh, Corbin's dead, but that doesn't mean you can't ink his pencils. There's pencils that exist. 
Uh, Leonardo da Vinci's dead too. I never got to ink Gary Frank. Uh, I like Gary Frank's work. Do 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 Frank. Oh my gosh, Frank Miller. Frank Miller actually to me, I wouldn't even be nervous because his stuff is so loose. Um, I think that would be great. Stan Sakai. Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, but, but, but Jim Lee, uh, your boy, Michael Golden. I, I think I inked Michael Golden on a cover once. Um, oh my gosh, Alex Toth, Rush, Rush. Ah, I'm sorry, Russ Heath. All right, some of you guys are getting it. Some of you guys are seeing where I'm going with this. So, uh, Mark D. Uh, we kind of talked about this on a live stream, uh, Ethan and I did. And so perhaps a Kennedy, perhaps Bobby Kennedy. <laughs> little Bobby Kennedy, uh, the little brother of John F. Kennedy. So I do have the piece here that I'm going to show you. And it's kind of for shits and giggles. So it's it's not it's not um, to be taken completely serious, but <laughs> I hope you guys are seeing this. I think Ethan saw it in an auction, like a, a heritage auction, and so this is uh, the Bobby Kennedy, and I think it's signed to uh, Jackie Kennedy. So this was a gift for her. He drew this up as a gift, and I think to save face, he wrote uh, Impressionism, meaning that that's why it looks so funky. So somebody said that this, this is supposed to be Abraham Lincoln on horseback. Uh, the horse kind of looks like the head's turning into like a dragon. It's kind of got a dragon. It's got like horns, like some points and stuff like that. Um, and the neck kind of looks more serpent than horse. So, um, I've been looking at this thing and I've been trying to get some inspiration. There's two ideas I have. Uh, there's one where I embellish it. Like I just, you know, put hatching, like I just totally like correct it and just kind of redraw it, uh, you know, in, in more of a comic book style. And then, well, actually there's three, there's three ideas. And then there's one that I would stay really true to what he did but just kind of with an ink line. And then the other is maybe more of like a render, like a classic rendering style where I could do some gray tones because there's some, there's some side of pencil here, uh, some gray stuff uh, that would be a shame to lose uh, in the final version. So I'm thinking maybe an ink wash, you know, maybe like a hard line uh, brush look, just a really bold sweeping line and then some some ink, like ink wash in there. That's the one I'm kind of most in favor of. And then the other one would be like, he says impressionism. So uh, there's, there's some uh, impressionistic art that's just really simple line work, you know what I mean? But it's really expression. There's a lot of expression in the, in the movement of the line art. So I'm thinking that's my second favorite but if i do that some of that gray line will will go away um because I, i'm not sure that it would look good if i brought in a gray like wash to it and uh and if i bring uh gray uh like the wash i can do the background there which i think is some kind of forest scape or something um i'm not sure really what he was going for there but i think i would turn it into some kind of um you know, like uh, forests, like trees, and then some kind of shrubbery down by the, the horse's feet. Um, I always think it's funny when people don't even hint at the other, the other side of, of a character or, or a drawing. Uh, this, this horse really only has two legs, and that's it. There's not four legs. And then uh, the, I think they call it a bridle or whatever, you know, that the you, you steer the horse with, there's only one side to it. And uh, he only has one arm. So it really is only like, <laughs> it's a, like just a one dimensional drawing. But I think I'm gonna study some 
uh, God, what is, I'm trying to think like Picasso or some of these guys that were, that did uh, like artwork with just simple, simple uh, brush strokes. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a version like that for sure. And then I'm going to do one with like more of an ink wash, but look at, look at the brilliance here. Look at the, look at the subtlety. Look at that. That is pretty amazing. Yeah, so I'm going to print this out, blue line it. I hope uh, whatever I come up, up with you guys like and uh, and that Ethan likes. He said that he was going to then give it to um, uh, to get it colored by Kyle Ritter. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm also going to I'm going to ink all this writing in. You know, for I think it says Jacqueline. Um, and I don't know what this says. Is it love and kisses from Bobby? And then there's another signature here. It doesn't look like it says Bobby. Oh, it says birthday. Uh, so maybe this was a birthday present. I don't know what this other stuff says. Is that's a date? On oh, on your 31st birth uh 35th birthday. So for uh I, that might say Jackie. I think that's an I and an E. Uh, love and kisses from Bobby on your 35th birthday. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll I'll ink it in, and then uh, if Ethan doesn't want it on the cover, he can he can have Kyle take it out. Um, that might not be too hard. Uh, but I think that the writing is what makes this special. I'm definitely going to ink in a Bobby signature, and I'm looking forward to my signature right next to Bobby Kennedy's signature. That is going to be a blast. So, uh, I, you know, I, I always look for interesting things to do in life. And so this will be one of those interesting things to do that in conversation I can now say uh, I inked a piece of artwork drawn by Bobby Kennedy. Um, yeah, uh, image by Heritage Auctions. Okay, so yeah, you guys could buy this. I think it was fairly reasonable. Um, yeah, so that's that's going to be the future. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. So I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be doing some hooking up, as they used to say at old Extreme Studios. Can you hook me up with the inks? Uh, yeah. So Skip says it was a birthday gift for uh, Jackie Kennedy's. Uh, a 35th. I think that's what it said. It was, it's a little tough to see. Um, I'm hoping that it prints out good because it's a photograph. Um, that's all I could find. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's going, it's going to be, uh, my girthy stallion variant cover. That's what he was saying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. But uh, once I get it done, it's going to be Ethan, so he can do whatever he wants with it. Uh, you know what? I, I might even, um, because I should be able to keep the original, you know, I'll give Ethan the scan. I might actually hang it up in the house here, like like uh, ink it in a nice frame, kind of like that Heritage Auctions did, and then uh, put it up on the wall. And then it'll be a good conversation. Uh no, no, it's not. It's not a spoof, man. I'm gonna do it, and uh, and Ethan has talked to me about doing it, so it's it's not uh, it's not a joke. Uh, he can do whatever he wants with it. Ethan can, but uh, I, but I'm gonna ink it. I'm definitely gonna do it. Um, Arctic Huttles says uh, it was supposedly her birthday, uh, first birthday after the president was killed. That's her husband. Uh, at least that's what uh, Ethan said on the live stream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ethan has more information about that. Ethan actually uh, is somewhat of a historian in pop culture, too. Like, he really follows that stuff. Um, I don't have a lot of, lot of, I don't know, interest in that stuff. Uh, Rob Liefeld, oh, come on. <laughs> He's good. Uh Okay, Todd. Todd's true says, "Well, uh, drawing better than a fifth grader is something to do." Um, uh, 
proof that comics are political. That's the best. That's the best quote today. Yeah, proof that comics are political. Uh, I should write that down. And that's. Uh, I was thinking of inking that up in a live stream, but I might be a little nervous because um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. But that could be funny just to watch me crash and burn, inking Bobby Kennedy on a live stream. Um, the cool thing about that is it's just blue lines. It's a really simple of artwork, so I could do many, many. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> swipes at it, uh, swipes at it. Um, I could try several approaches is what I'm trying to say. Uh, oh my God. I can't get over this. I can't get over that. That's perfect. But, um, oh, Camel Moon's in the house. Very talented Camel Moon. Hello. Hello. Y'all. Y'all. All right. You guys, I am, I don't, I don't know if he purchased it or not. Uh, I just have a copy of it. So uh, Ethan posted it, and then I just took it from his post. If he actually has it, uh, if somebody uh, could let me know, then he could scan it, and I could ink um, from, like, a, a better quality version of it. Um, Past Master Dan says, it goes in the special room at the CG Museum. Oh, my gosh. That would be awesome in time to have a CG museum. Do, 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 uh, do, 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 do. Let's see what Camel Moon has to say. A new hell salad up for those who haven't seen it. Oh, you guys got to go check that out. Uh, I heard Hitler could draw as well. Um, I don't have any plans on ink and Hitler <laughs> anytime soon. If I did, could you imagine uh, the... Uh, the the Nazi heat I would take, people would uh, probably crucify me over it. You've seen it, the original. Ethan has it. Maybe I'll I'll send him a message and see if he if he has the original. Oh, oh, very cool. Yeah, maybe he could scan it and send it to me. Although I don't, I don't think I really need it to be honest. There's not a lot of subtlety in the drawing. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could be definitely a career ender indeed, especially in this climate. In this climate, it. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, the Whisper Network uh, would have a filled day. Yeah, I think there's. Um, there's a new uh, Whispered Network article. Uh, Chris Browley um, was telling me about it. I've been trying to do, I want to do a live stream with Chris again. So uh, maybe maybe we could do something next week and talk about uh, the article. Um, I don't know too many details uh, at this moment in time. Uh, oh. Uh, but, 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 but past master says he's seen the newest uh, camel moon video and it is hilarious yeah, camel moon is freaking brilliant um, okay so Billy says thank you so I'm gonna start wrapping this up I just wanted to uh, to let you guys uh, know uh, what's what's in the future also you guys oh my gosh I am re I'm working and reworking a black and white cover for volume two. This shit is going to rock, man. This is crazy. I am so excited. And the work, my layouts, I'm, I'm sorry. It sounds kind of arrogant, but I'm going to pat myself on the back. They're coming out great. And they're just, they're just flying out of my brain. They're just, just coming right onto the page. And uh, let me see uh, how many pages I have. Actually, they're all over the place. Um, I think it's like 45 pages. And uh, it's it's slated for 48 pages, but I'm probably, with your help, hopefully get to um, 60 pages. So, yeah, 45 pages. So uh, here's, here's two of them right here. So these are just like little thumbnails. 
And like I said, these things are just coming right out of my brain. And uh, wow, the camera is actually working for once. So yeah, it's it's going to be action packed. Um, it's going to wrap up the storyline. Um, I can't wait to um, one get the uh, the pre launch up, which is going to happen soon, and then to actually do the campaign. And, and during that, just keep drawing, just keep drawing and having a having a ball. Um, okay, Captain Vrag, take care, Mr. T. Uh, want your next black and white book, man? Yeah, it's it's. It's happening. It's happening right now. And in the meantime, you guys, uh, there's a link in the description. Go check out Chrono Mechanics and pick up a book if you haven't yet. Um, I, it, you're not going to be disappointed. It's a fun read. It's self-contained. Uh, it's 60 pages, uh, graphic novel format, sci-fi action adventure humor. And uh, and it's going to ship out uh, ASAP, which is, uh, which is great. Um, you don't have, there's no, there's no, uh, downtime. Oh man, Bob, Bob is in the house. Comic book, Bob. How are you? Comic book, Bob. Uh, we were supposed to live stream early in the week. That would have been a blast. Yeah. Bob is, is a treat to hang out with. So late to the party, RT bear. Are you doing a project with Robert? Uh, yes. Robert Liefeld. Indeed. Indeed he do. So, um, bu 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 uh, Billy answers that question. Um, all right. Yeah, these these are the thumbnails for Black and White too. Yeah, so there's 45. Um, I have some some really loose. Like I just go in and kind of loosely uh, block out stuff. So I have a few pages that are loosely uh, blocked out with pencil, and then I still need to go in there and finalize them in the inks. Uh, missed out. Well, um, I have only a handful of the original uh, cover of volume one left. So that's going to be in the new campaign at a premium. And then I am going to reprint um, the first issue with a new cover on it. And then I still, I, I do have some of the, um, the Gray Capullo variants left. So those will be part of the campaign as well. And then um, I have two covers for black and white, too, that I drew. And I'm just going to try to figure out which one. Maybe I'll put, them, I'll put them up at some point in the live stream, and you guys can decide which one's actually going to be the cover. So I'm thinking one will be the cover, and then one, one will be the exclusive trading card um, for the pre-launch. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. Definitely going to back that. Indeed. All right, man. Oh, Spirits Card, one of my faves. Uh, Art, uh, you got to go on other channels to promote your book. Everyone ha here has backed you already. <laughs> yeah, I, I plug it on other channels. Uh, I was on uh, Billy Tucci's last night and had a ball man had a ball this whole um we got it we got a show a new show that we're doing i think we're six weeks into it next week's going to be on my channel uh i do we're called the bro professionals spilling the ink so it's uh billy tucci graham nolan uh, uh andy smith uh dan frega uh aaron lapresti and myself, I hope I named six. I think that uh, I think there's six of us are the main. And then um, we're gonna try to get some guest stars in, depending on the subject matter and stuff, uh, as we go along. But it's been a blast. You guys have been supporting the hell out of it. So thank you so very much. Um, uh, there's a video here in my uh, history. If you go back, you guys can watch that as well. So um, thanks again, you guys. Had a ball hanging out with you. You're always fun. And uh, I got to get back to work, I get some food, and uh, I'll see you soon.